psalm before we read. It's a psalm that calls for devotion. What did I say? Calls for what? Commitment. Bringing ourselves closer to who? Please answer me. To who? It's a psalm that calls for devotion. It's not a mere exposition of what uh, God or the word of God is. In this psalm, the psalm is decided to stir up himself. When even the conditions around were saying, be sad, cry, don't be happy. And that's why I purposely decided to bring this up for you to know that you are the only one that can stir up your joy. You are the only one that can encourage yourself. Pastor will not be with you 24 hours. You are not hearing me. And one good thing about it is that whatever is happening to you now, you are not the first and you will not be the last. David began to recount things that have happened to him. He sat down and I believe at this time it was a time that it's like he was getting old. Began to recount what he has gone through. There was a time that he was about that when he was running from Saul here and there. He wanted to fall. He, 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 he now went and took Ezra in his uh, enemy's uh, camp. They gave them a land. I mean, to dwell. And for some time, David wanted to show loyalty to the Philistines. He decided to follow them to, to war, to go and fight with uh, his own people. And as the king of the kings of the Philistines were moving to war, they said, who is these people follow? Who are these people following us? And they say, you know, don't you know David? Ha. That's David now, the champion who killed, I mean, the guy who killed our champion. But now he has become my slave for some years. You will not be a slave to anybody. Yeah. He said, now, he's at my mercy. Just he wants to follow, he wants to follow us to go and fight his master. And they say, you no get sense. You no get head. He wants to follow you to go and fight. How else can he settle with his master if not with our head? As he's following us, he will turn against us and fight to kill us so that his master tell them to go back. Is this not the David they sang about that saw key 1,000? That he killed 10,000? And you are telling him he wants to go and settle with him. Is it not our head that we used to settle? The other king said, no, but tell him to go back. He can't follow us. And that kid went to David and said, oh, but you know you have been good to me, but this time the others, they are not. I beg, go back. But he said, what have I done? But at least I... You know, I, I mean, I've been lawyer. I said, I know you have been lawyer, but they, it's okay. They went back. But when they got back to their village, the place they gave them, everywhere was empty. They burnt down their village. Before, before they came back, listen to me, trouble has ever been part of life. Whatever is happening to you, not be you start. Whatever is happening to me, not be me start. Bible said in Job that any man that is born of a woman is of few days and those days are full of trouble. Don't let trouble that comes to you to your house to swallow you. Are you hearing me? The Bible said when they got there, their wife, they were taking their children. They were taking, their village was, everything was burned down. And all of them, mighty men of war sat on the ground. They cried like a baby. Cry, 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 cry. To the extent there was no more strength to cry. But the Bible said, David encouraged himself in the Lord. May you encourage yourself. They are not hearing me. May you encourage yourself in the God you are serving. And they went out. David said, will I see them? God, can I pursue them? God said, pursue overtake and recover. I say you. And what happened? Did it happen? This is the same David. So many other things. I can't. Let me just mention this too because I'm not here to preach. He was playing uh, virtually music for his own uh, boss. Who went because saw this time God has rejected him. 
And each time it was like he was now almost behaving like a mad person. They said, go and look for somebody who can play. You know, music can drive sometimes demonic spirits, especially good music, not bad one, because even some bad one, demons follow them. And as David came to play so that uh, Saul might be relieved, Saul was planning to finish him. There are times even those people you help, they are even the one planning your downfall. You are not hearing me. Sir, who no man? Now in the kima. Matthew 10 36, Jesus said, A mass enemy. They are not outside. It takes your friend to be able to, to know you to the house. Your enemy can hardly know much about you. And so to get you, they will get somebody who is your friend, or even a wife, or even a son, or even a family friend. But may those we give our trust to, may they not turn against us. Yeah. Let me hear better, amen. Yeah. May those that we want to help not be those who, who are pursuing our grave. May they not be those who want to put us to the grave. Yeah. As he was playing music, he didn't know Saul was saying, not be you that say, King Goliath, you want to take my seat. Today, you all don't finish. Tell somebody you will never finish. Tell somebody until God signs it. Tell the person, no man can finish you. If you believe, wave your hand and shout hallelujah. As he was playing, Saul was conceiving evil. Have you ever noticed that people you are trying to help, they are conceiving evil in their heart? One should say, get money. And he call me say, make a... Uh, you, uh, when you, uh, you see money take go market. I just say make I help you. Now I say me I give you this five thousand. Make you take go market. Eh. Say you don't get. Now I make you they call me. You want you to mock me. Now you they talk for her too. And Saul, in his evil heart, carried javelin. I hear him. Saul, javelin has something like a sharp edge at the end. He carried it. As David was playing in his innocency, in his innocent mind, playing. He said, not only once, you all don't feel I will pin you to the wall. And as he carried the javelin in an instance, you know what you don't expect, you don't even know how to dodge. As he threw it to him to pin him, there is a mighty hand. Somebody said, There's a mighty hand. I prophesy into your life that there is a hand that is following you everywhere. There is a hand that will remove you from that accident. I don't know where they plan your admission. I don't know where they plan to hospitalize you. I don't know where they plan that you will collapse and die. But I prophesy to 20 persons here. Every sudden death that they have here man for you, that they have planned for you, the hand of Jehovah shall remove you. The hand of Jehovah shall remove you. You shall escape. I say you shall escape. It is not by your wisdom. It is not by might. It is not by power. But by the spirit of the Lord. The hand of God came and pushed David. That was the same hand that pushed, that tore my car last week. Where's pastor? The same thing. Come, 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 come. The same thing. The same week they wanted to kill me. The same week they wanted to kill my assistant pastor. Say I told you. The car was racing from the market here to enter the express. Fool, the car not agree to come down. He said, which car will Allah be this? And somebody was just learning to drive for some months or whatever. He decided God gave him courage first. Because if you were afraid that you're over finish. He ran into the express. He said, if I don't let it flow like that, I don't even know whether now heaven will go land. He started to turn it to enter. He said, as he turned it into the street, we are not alone. Somebody is behind us. There is a power around us. Even though you are not seeing it, there is a force that is in charge of your life. God is in charge of our life. The Bible said he will give his angels charge over us so that we will not dash our leg against the stone. I prophesy that from today, the hand of God shall walk in your favor. He was facing the signboard. He didn't know how he turned. As he turned it away from the signboard, he was facing a, a fence. 
True or false, sir? He was, and you know, car went this speed. You know, they stop with this speed. He was facing the fence. As he was facing, they didn't know this. Oh my God. Invisible hand. The Bible says, He that watcheth over you, man leaves Zukayados. He does not sleep. One verse, uh, uh, Psalm 121, verse 7. I like that verse. He said, The Lord will preserve you from all evil. Amen. Psalm 121, verse 7. He said, The Lord will preserve you from all evil. He will preserve your going out and your coming in. But now, forever. As he told it away again from the wall, he was facing a place. Now, that place was even worse. So there was valley there. He said, he didn't know how the car stopped once. You say, God, no. He said, God, not there with us. You know, the God will follow us, come here. You know, the God will follow us, come here. O se batu o julu fele la shono e batuna o fele la shono o se batuna o julu fele la shono o se batuna o fele la shono o se batuna o julu fele la shono o se batuna o fele la shono was also in this kind of mysterious circumstances. There are situations that come up in your house else on the road that are beyond your power. Mm -hmm. But the one who is the almighty will always be there to show up. Amen. He will rescue us. Amen. David didn't know when a hand came as his spear was about piercing him. A hand came and pushed him off. This is the same David. He sat down and was reminiscing, a kind of a kind of retrospecting, looking back at deliverances that how many times they were on the same mountain as Saul was looking for him. He was almost closing in on him, almost getting him. God caused trouble in the house where Saul was coming from in the city. The enemies was coming to me. News came. Oh God, come on, oh, enemy! Don't come. Hey, I did almost get my enemy. They will almost get you, but they will not get you. Amen. He has to leave. And wait. He came again another time. Who they pursue you? No go get you. Amen. You know why? There is a hand that controls the universe. Amen. He was the same person that sat down. And began to examine how much God has helped him. Did he not see trouble? His child, did he not die? Yes, sir. I think about two of his children died. Absalom died. Plus the other child that was born to Bathsheba. Remove your mind from the bad ones. And give glory to God. He stirred up himself. Tell somebody, learn to stir up yourself. Learn to Say, learn to, learn to motivate yourself. Tell him, don't let the situation around you kill your joy. Don't let the situation around you kill your joy. And David stood up. He said, Look at what he said. Psalm 103. Please bring it up quickly, quickly, quickly. Quickly. Psalm 103. This is Bible reading. Everybody read. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all. How many? All that is within me. How many? All. Not your mouth is blessed like this. My soul, and then your, 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 your eyes looking this way. Your eyes looking. All within you should bless God. Yes, what did he say? Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not. If there's one really talking, the bad things will not happen to you, plus the good things will not happen since the day when they're born. Which one plenty pass? The good. Because. God protects you every night, right from your mother's womb. There were those who were conceived. Did they, did they come down? 
Some were even born within a year, they died. Some were even born, they grow up, they do what? They die. But God has been protecting you. Amen. Is it not the good thing he's doing that is, that is more? One bad thing just happened. You know, you don't forget. You don't forget. You don't forget. I will say, God, now by force I still did go your house. Because this thing when you do me, I'm not going to forget. Forget not his benefit. I don't know if you have had benefit from God. All of us here. The air you are breathing is his benefit. Go ahead, go ahead. Just be fast. I want to read to verse 10 or so. Go ahead, go ahead. Who forgives? Number one benefit. What does he do? How many? Oh. He heals what? All our diseases. It isn't at that thing when you go take for this divine, I heal you. It isn't at that, uh, 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 this way they go for Tibor and I heal you. It isn't at that, no, no, you, you think it's those drugs they wrote for you. There are those who took even more expensive drugs, yet they died. Oh, they are not hearing me. Are you hearing me? There are those who took, they bought one drug. One person said he bought a drug, 16,000. One. Yet, the woman still died. Aquas mother said they were buying one of the drugs. How much? If I can remember. Are you getting me? And yet, one of the days a doctor coming to check just came. He carried an injection. He put down for vein. He said the woman was shouting. My heart, oh, my heart, oh. The woman was almost jerking. Before you know, the doctor pulled it up. Before you know, the woman don't go. They spent close to a million naira. And they will still pay the B. But you, you think he's your power. He's the one that he let what? Our disease. Number four, what does he do? Has he redeemed you from destruction? Has he delivered you anytime from destruction? Yes, sir. Answer me now. Yes, sir. My own, I can't even count. How many can I remember? Who crowned your life with loving kindness and tender mercy? Verse 5, verse 5, verse 5, verse 5. Who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles? May God, may your mouth be satisfied with good things. Amen. May your mouth not always see the bad things. Amen. For some people, every day, now so so bad things, now they fool their mouth. Okay, good morning. How are your body now? Pastor, now, now that I remember, no, more than I go to the ready casket. Because this one, I don't tire. I don't pray, 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 pray. Every day, so, so complain. It will no longer be your portion. Amen. Go ahead, was it? The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. Every power oppressing you from today, God will judge them. Amen. If you like, you say amen. Amen. He made known his ways unto Moses out of the children of Israel. Please, if I'll stop it, verse 10. Come on, fast. The Lord is merciful and what? Slow to what? And plenteous in what? All the bad, bad things we they do. If God not slow to anger, he not going to finish us. He will not always chide. That means he will not always be angry. He will not always punish. Neither will he keep his anger forever. Yes, verse 10. Because he has not dealt with us. Ah, yeah, yeah. After our word. He has not rewarded us according to what? Our iniquities. Take this home and God will bless you. Amen. Can we rise up? Let's give our offering fast. Choir, you are saying, we not sing. Today not be choir singing.